two, three, four. Tell the people what she wore. It was an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini that she wore for the first time in day. The world loves a bikini. The much-loved beach staple was launched in 1946, shocking the then prudish nation with its revealing nature. It was sold as a two-piece swimming suit that promised to reveal everything about a girl except her mother's maiden name. The clothing is named after Bikini Atoll, the site of nuclear weapon tests in the Marshall Islands. Why? Well, the launch of the bikini was predicted to cause such an impact that it would match the atomic bomb. And this was certainly true for the 50,000 people that put pen to paper to express their admiration of the French model Micheline Bernardini. She was the first woman to wear a bikini on the catwalk and was overwhelmed with fan mail as a result. In the early 1900s, many American towns created regulations that required old ladies in swimwear to wear stockings. But in 1921, swimwear company Janssen made a decision to change the word bathing suit to swimming suit to justify their more revealing attire as a kind of athleticism. 50s sex symbol Diana Dawes made an appearance in the 1955 Venice Film Festival in a mink bikini which doesn't seem entirely practical or indeed ethical, but there we are. Speaking of sex symbols and impractical swimwear, the very last time Marilyn Monroe made an appearance in a bikini on screen was the 1962 film Something's Got to Give. Now, did you know that the priciest bikini available will set you back a staggering 30 million US dollars? Developed by designer Susan Rosen and Steinmetz Diamond Jewelry, the bikini is formed by more than 150 carats of D-flawless diamond jewelry. And to finish, a bit of history for you. In November 2009, the world's biggest bikini parade took place. A wave of 287 bikini-clad women paraded through Johannesburg, South Africa. And of course, all for a fantastic cause, to improve awareness of breast cancer, which affects one in 30 South African women. It was an itsy bitsy teeny 